this is definitely going to be a interesting one for all of us because again how far can things go here for misfits you kind of expect them they've always been outside of the margin can they push into the top four the top threes of europe and for vitality they've been quiet a lot of people have written them off though is this pickup with radosin worth it as we get game one underway in the game number one i was correct vitality will be in the blue misfits will be in the orange both teams kind of orange color. Someone's got to be blue, okay? So we'll see who's able to move forward here. A best of seven first to four games. Advances in the lower bracket. Loser goes home for the first regional of the European split here for spring. Matein advancing on to Alpha and then getting bullied on the wall. Somehow Alpha emerges with ball control and wins the 50 afterwards. Redosa now in the sky just trying to play a bit of defense deep in his own third. He's got to watch out. Cash is coming. Cash was looking for the double there. Alpha read it. Good offensive pressure here, though, off the start for Misfits. As RJ will just try to keep this ball in play here for a little bit. But Vitality definitely on the defensive end so far in the first minute. We'll see how those rotations change as teams get a little bit more comfortable. But the tone has been set. Oh. Arju almost found it, but it's off the post. He got the ball across, could not get it in. And we'll see the first minute come and go quietly here. Neither team caught on the board. Addison looking for the double tap. Gets stolen by Cash on the rotation back on the defense. And now trying to win challenges. He'll lose it to Kadop on the corner. Arju with a counter back down the field. Alpha to the sky. Pass it across. Radisson Matane looking for the interception. And Cash looking to zone. Radisson out. Matane couldn't put it quite on target. We'll stay scoreless. You see, again, that play four. Cash not afraid to get up in front. Again, even his second man here, going to play that low 50, but it's a good win for Kadop. Looking at the rotations for Misfits, they get, have that kind of aggressive third here a little bit, and they got to be just a bit careful. We haven't seen a dangerous attack from Vitality just yet, so we don't know what they look like when they're in form. What's their type of play style here coming in? Man, Alpha is not losing a challenge right now. And it is a problem Misfits is going to have to deal with in the midfield. Here's Arju looks for a flick one. Just trying to avoid mid challenges again. But Alpha finally going to miss one high in the sky up against Cash. But immediately loses the follow up to Radisson over the top of one now. Back on the ground. A flick over another. One player up in goal. Arju will find a stop at Alpha. Puts it off the ground. Cash finds a block on the goal line. And still no goals to show for either team's efforts. And Vitality very, have been mainly defensive, I'd say, over the course of this tournament. But now we're starting to see them turn things up offensive-wise. Oh. That's a good read from Cash. Oh. Arju tried to get the follow-up, but that Vitality was so quick to go on that backboard to block it out. The, you, the backboard defense has been so critical in this split. We saw it in North America. That has continued here. I mean, it's, it's always been important. It just feels like it's, it's, it's a spotlight's been put on the backboard uh, in this split. I'm excited to see if either team's able to find a way through in this series. Here comes Kadop against two defenders. He pinches high. We see Radisson to the sky, looking underneath, flip, reset. Not going to use it immediately. Puts it on the ground and Arju on the goal line, pushes it to the outside. But you see, just how you were talking about the backboard, Radosin sees that someone's going on the backboard, decides, I'm going to fake it, try to go into a flip reset and then play low yeah. based off that. Transition though, dangerous Woo! as Kadop has to get a touch high. But yeah, these players are definitely conscious of that backboard defense. And even when they're on the offensive side, they just try to figure out how to be that much more creative. The backboard denial from Vitality, making things difficult. Or from Misfits rather. And then like he's pointing out Riddles and having to take it to the ground. If they keep a player up there, it's going to make things more difficult for sure. Here's Kadop on the outside now. Through one Matane, getting covered up by Alpha. Bumped to the outside. Kadop's got no boost here. He'll pick up the corner, but he had to pick boost over ball there. Loses the challenge now. Radisson again, the flip reset. He's getting him so consistently back in front of the box, and Alpha blocked at the last moment. Yet the surely that was the one that goes in. I mean, you got to be really patient there if you're cash. And he, I mean, he does a good job. Don't jump until the very right moment. And this has been kind of close. Vitality starting to get more comfortable up in, up in the offensive half. As we approach the final minute of gameplay, you see Alpha looking to create something. He's got the whole team oh. behind him, but that's a really good clear from Cash to send him the other way. Yeah, Cash on the backboard again. Going to get it down the field. Loses the challenge. Rodostin. Retain now to the backboard. Alpha's there. Cash on the outside looking for the read. Arju's just lurking in front of the box in the final minute. Going to close the gap over the top of Kadop. Up against Alpha, loses the challenge yet again. There's Cash on the backboard, though, with a bit of space. Kadop in and out. No, not going to happen. 
Alpha gonna get in the way. Final 30 seconds, no goals in game no one. No way! Oh. oh my goodness, Arju had a solid read putting in midfield. Matein didn't believe in him. He tried to go and get a piece of it. But now you see the back passes. Misfits struggling here for a little bit of control. Vitality trying to take command here late in the game as we approach the final few seconds on the clock. Okay, down in the corner. Arju down the length of the field. Verdosen waiting patiently over one, but Arju through two and Alpha again. I think I, I genuinely think he's lost one challenge so far this game. Overtime in game one. <laughs> Alpha is a monster in his own right. He's going to show that any chance he gets. Whoa. Again, this roster trying to be successful. Alpha and Ned is cash at control, but not the boost to work with. And of course, Vitaly trying to send it the other way, but that quick counterattack you see for Misfits to put it back in. It's going to be a tug of war between these two teams. Which one's going to let up? Alpha. In the corner, having to move back out is Redison, closing the gap. I've said his name wrong so many times, my brain won't do it right. I, it's Redosin, <laughs> right? That, I mean, that's what I say. We, we right, could well, both be wrong here. I didn't get the official stacks fact check, so I can't I, really answer that. I think I was like m making fun of him in the green room, saying Radisson just for the fun of it, and now like my brain's unironically saying that. Here's Kate up out of the front. <laughs> he's got Alpha with him, and he's, I'm all retreating here. Misfits having to recollect as all three of them moved into the back third there. Radosin now out of his own back third. Gonna get it past one misfit player, now past two. A touch from Arju will stall the play. Matane's gonna try and dismount the wall, but he can't beat Kate off to the ball. And now Arju out of the corner has to take control. Moving it from his own back third. Challenge against Radosin goes to the outside. Cash now off the ceiling, reset up against two defenders. Gonna use the ground and Kate up just builds a wall, pushes it to the outside. Smart on Cash to try to go for the ground pinch there. But it's the speed test there is what's really won there from Alpha trying to again buy for space. You can see some of these challenges it's been very mechanical and in, in the air. But if one team loses the wrong 50, it spells doom as the other ones are just waiting to find that moment of weakness as they trade blows, trade challenges in the middle of the air on the sidewall. It's, and it's like every time you're on the, like, okay, that, that's that's a hard place to win a challenge. He Alpha wins it every time. Like, he, I think he had the advantage a little bit in that one too, but I'm just still surprised. The consistency from Alpha is blowing me away here in game number one. And yet, they still don't have a goal from it. Neither team able to put anything in nearly seven minutes of Rocket League for game number one. These lower bracket okay. matches force perfection. A mistake finally from Vitality. Misfit's going to take game one. And the cams come alive on the side of Misfits. It's a good beat on Arju. Oh. My goodness. Cash with the follow up because no one was expecting Redosin to get beat there. But Misfits played it all the way and they take game one. Taking the game. It's, it's, it's the single missed challenge making all the difference here. You can see the trust from Vitality. They're, they're, they're like, we, the Redosin's up for it. Cool. We're out picking up boost. We're expecting him to win this challenge so we can move upfield and take and take a moment of opportunity ourselves. But no, in this one, going to lose the challenge. Cash going to score the goal. And man, I've never seen a game more immediately validate a 50 50 chat prediction than this one. This was so even down the board. Of course, yeah. I mean, see, again, Vitality was really solid, I'd say, on like that defensive end. And of course, in some of the transitions on offense, Alpha, like you said it yourself, it felt like he didn't lose a 50 that game. We may have only saw like 150. I think they double commit on Vitality. k went for a chance. Alpha still won it. He's, he's beating his yeah. own teammates in the 50. I mean, that doesn't really matter <laughs> at, the, at the grand scheme of things. Uh, but for me, it just goes to show how close things are. And for Misfits to win that game in overtime after losing every overtime, uh, no way. It, it, no way. Oh my god, it's ah. already almost a hot start from them. It just goes to show how confident Misfits are and how ready they've been to take on Vitality again. And Misfits have been preparing. Looking for revenge. As Batain in the corner here. Challenge goes neutral. Alpha moves up. Look at decal change here for Alpha. The anti-tilt mechanics in effect. Matane now looking for the pass into catch. It's over the top of his teammate. And Redosin will close the gap. Now pass two off the backboard. Whoa. They're lucky that they missed the follow-up. You're going to save there. You talk about Alpha changing. Radosin swaps to the Octane now off the Fennec. Still will be enough for Vitality. Now they're getting pushed and kind of suffocated on their own end as Misfits are looking for a way through. Cash loses that 50 to Alpha as expected. And RG will only try to control that ball just for it to get sent back into the other end. One of Radosin's like, Carl wasn't tall enough to win that one challenge. Now let's go to the sl slightly taller box here. 
We're <laughs> moving forward. Matane off the backboard. And Apple take it away from him. And it's past cash as well. Argy has to fall all the way back to his back boost to pick up control here. But I have a lot of space. Takes to the sky. And Alpha wins another one. Radostin to the corner. Alpha following it as well. This is difficult for Matane to read. But he does properly suss out what Alpha's trying to do there. He still manages to get it through him in the corner. But it slows the play down enough for the rest of Misfits to rotate back and build a defensive wall. Here we see K-Dop on top of the ball. Still looking for that way in. As, again, Vitality trying to create some offensive chances here. But Misfits now coming in with some clean beats. Matane, the speed! K-Dop gets there just Ow! in time. But it won't matter. Arju follows it up, and Misfits force the issue. The power here. Redostin losing on K-Dop trying to clear with the backflip. Actually kind of sets it up off the post. And leaves it there for Arju to put in. 313 left to go. Vitality yet to score in the series. That's that's big. They were the ones who had Misfits kind of figured out. But again, you can tell Misfits have been doing their homework and they've, they've come out with a different roster. Mate might need to go on some more sidewall reads though. He ends up missing that one. We'll have to come back in and make a 50. Bounce off the corner. Arju will try to keep this in play, still keeping up that Misfits pressure as they keep Vitality just stuck into their own side while they can't get out. Dozen into the midfield. Matane extends it to the outside. Arju reaches for it, but Kadop gets there first. And now Verdosen looking for goalies. Kadop going to try and find some as well. Leaves nobody with the ball. Matane's happy to pick it up, but Alpha comes in, wins the challenge, and Cash finds the booming clear. Matane now in a cherry pick, drops it into the goal. Verdosen on the retreat, manages to find the stop. And look at the transition. Kadop trying to put pressure on Arju. He'll do that, but Arju does get it to the corner and will survive. Neither team able to put another goal in. Alpha keeping the pressure on for just a moment. Cash has other ideas. Across midfield, across halftime, Misfits holding on to a slim one goal lead. There's been an issue on the offensive side of Team Vitality is the fact that they've got three shots, but they haven't really felt like shots. Meanwhile, you look at that, Arju, ooh, faked out Kadop, and Alpha will get that flick. That'll count as a shot, but that's normally how most of the shots, if not all of the shots, have been for Vitality. Oh! There's a follow up from Radosin, and it'll go in to tie us all up. Arju tries to put this one to the outside. Kadop's already got it covered and an open backboard. Dazarin, we were talking about that in game number one. Mm -hmm. Finally finding an opening here. Rudosin's not going to miss. So counterattacks paying off here. Vitality able to get a solid shot on and they stopped the scoring drought. Now that they've gotten on the board, what does this mean, most so to speak? Because I feel like for Misfits, if anything, I think they're just going to come in with even more offense, just trying again to make Vitality as uncomfortable as possible. Vitality definitely have been, they have put the pressure on them, getting them this far into the series without scoring. Also, fun fact, Vitality was on a five overtime win streak there. They had not lost an overtime in five games. Uh, Misfits able to break that one. Now Misfits overtime streak at four. Mm. So definitely a few trends changing pace here. Kate up now on the back wall, getting pressured, just hangs out with the ball, waits for the challenge to come to him. Alpha the top of another player. Alpha, we, we've been talking about his his challenge game for both games one and two so far and how strong that's been. We haven't seen that translate directly into offensive opportunities for him. He's setting up Rodos and he's setting up KDOP, but we're not seeing Alpha with the opportunity to shoot. No, and that's that's really the big thing here between Alpha and Radosin, right? They can both kind of pressure out and take out a defense. And I think it really kind of depends on who's got like the hot hand right now. Who do you want to prioritize in that particular aspect? Right now, Rodos has been the one who scored the only goal for Vitality. So you're starting to look at him and maybe Alpha can just set up the new player on Vitality and it can lead to a win here. 30 seconds left, it's still tied. Oh, God, oh. anymore! Cash slots it, Caster curses Rain. And we'll see Misfits back on top. Can't be mad at that one. Radosa <laughs> tries to flick it out. Kadop can't get a piece. Cash plays the miss. And no one from Vitality was expecting a big time goal here. As again, 32 seconds left on the clock and Vitality have to play from behind. Oh, an important kickoff and it's won by Misfits. Alpha versus Cash now in the corner. Alpha will dismount the wall, use all of his boosters to get the ball to midfield. Arju now taking over control. Verdosa puts it back in front. And Kadop doesn't get much of a touch on it, leaves it for Alpha, who finally misses the ball. Radosin here, back in front of the box. Arju to the goal. Radosin will find the save. Alpha on the outside. What a read. 10 seconds left. Needing a goal. Vitality having to force overtime. Alpha going to miss. Kadop across the goal. Alpha's going to be in the place. Can he find something to do with this? He's low on boost. No. Loses the challenge. Loses a second one. Misfit takes game two. Now that, and they, this is big here for Misfits as well. 
close games with Vitality. Same as the first series. You talked about those win streaks, though, from Vitality. Three of those overtimes were on Misfits. As <laughs> things now, you, you look at it, and Misfits, okay, they win that one, they're, they're going to keep winning. The way it looks like, I love the way Misfits have been placing the ball out in front because it's been kind of breaking down Vitality, forcing them to make awkward touches, which only sets them up even more for Misfits to maintain offensive pressure. It's been a really solid offensive strategy for Misfits here in the opening two games. But of course, you see Vitality having to take a timeout. They'll take the timeout. This has become the standard to, to take the timeout the game before, like after you've lost two. Don't take the game, the timeout after match point here. Um, and, and looking to, to reset their mindsets reset the, their approach to this game. We've seen, I, I mean, is there, is there a specific thing or a specific dynamic, a specific area of the pitch you think Vitality needs to be focusing on in this overtime or this timeout? I mean, for Vitality, it's, it's gotta be the upper third, right? Again, like they, they end up with five shots that game, but I think the only shot that really mattered was the one Redosa took. Most of, most of the shots mm. were registered there as clears for Vitality. And for me, it's like, okay, if you can't maintain offensive pressure, and I think there's there's also stats that support that Vitality have been playing more defensively this event. That being said, for them, if they can't get well on the scoring, you have Alpha 54 on your team. You have Redosa yeah. who you pick up who can break apart defenses. You would expect more of an offensive output from this roster. And for them to not be able to have that, I think really kind of shows you how, okay, this is why Misfits have been able to maintain offensive dominance and control because the people that are kind of supposed to be producing aren't necessarily doing that. Yeah, well, I think right now what we're seeing is Alpha in the, the first man on the transition to offense. He's the one setting up the plays, which means he's in the third man when the play inevitably breaks down and he has to dive back across to keep the goal clean. So I, I, I would love to see Vitality moving forward with Vi with uh, Alpha more in the second or third man, finding a way for Kadop and Radosin to set up the offensive plays. I mean, Alpha's in position to actually capitalize on the goal and then leaving Kadop and Radosin to cover it up if he doesn't manage to make it happen there. But I, I, it, it's... It's, it's easy for me to sit here and say, just just move forward when Alpha can just, be the one to just shoot. Just be better, dude. Just just, just win, forehead. <laughs> so we'll see here. Misfits currently up two games. Vitality looking to change things. After a timeout, we'll see what adjustments they made. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good yeah. one. My goodness. <laughs> that's an adjustment, okay? <laughs> Let Redoston work. He cheats off the kickoff, oh. pass over one, and he says, all right, one, two, Matane, two, oh. we'll see you later. <laughs> it's in your goal. Great start for Vitality. What a lay. That, that was really bad. And you saw the moment he slows down behind the ball after kickoff, he just, he just has complete control of the field. The, every, everybody is having to react to what he does. And there's once he sets it up and goes for the aerial bump, as long as he hits it, there's nothing you're going to be able to do. Vitality starting off hot and very much changing the story of how these games have been going here in the start of game three. It does seem like for them, you know, this is a really good oh. start as Kadop will slot one in. A little bit of a hiccup there on Misfits on the defensive side, and sure, Kadop will take that every day. Arju is advancing on the challenge. I think Cash expected Arju to win that, and then when he didn't, he kept moving forward, wasn't certain what to do, left quite the opening there, and Kadop's not going to miss a, a mistake like that. Slots it well. Up by two now. Vitality got to feel good. Alpha trying to drop this one back to Kadop, but doesn't quite get the ball to him. Matane intercepts, wins a challenge, and now Kadop in the third man. Having fun to block, double commit on the wall. Redoza with a back pass, try, or the, the pass over his shoulder upfield. Cash will pick it up before Vitaly was able to punish the double commit, but here they come again. Only one player back, Matane and Kadop. Whoa. Can they find the place? Matane will find the block on Kadop, and now Cash trying to win on the wall. Neutral back in front of the goal. Arju just bangs it down the field. Off the backboard, oh. and Arju! Puts it in on a complete open net for goal number one. And Redosin, he doesn't like that one at all, but it was a good read. I'm not okay, going to okay. lie. <laughs> I got so confused because the name Arju popped up, and I'm like, but that was a Vitality decal. My brain forgot how own goals worked for a moment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Poor Redosin. Yeah, that's that's unlucky. Good read, though. I, I, I'll give it, you know, the mechs up for Redosin are still good. He scored, you know, air dribble or pop-up bumps on a one in and doubles on his own. So it's showing just how successful <laughs> Vitality are. If anything, that feels solid because at least you know Misfits, yeah, they get that one off a mistake. 
but it's off of a mistake. That's it, right? They haven't been able to break apart your defense just yet, so you just got to remain composed. as Good follow-up touch there midfield, yeah. but no one's going to expect that. Man, uh oh, okay, I'm trying to put the pressure on him here. If, if you're a Vitality fan, I'm pretty sure what happened in that timeout was they said, all right, only we score goals. So if they're going to score, just own goal it. So technically, Vitality is the only team that scored in this match. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, I mean, that, like I said, but like that's that's the biggest thing though is for for Misfits now they're down they're still down by one and they still haven't necessarily broken apart the Vitality defense they just got yeah. away with a clear as exactly. Arthur's trying to but Kato it's a good save out. Misfits looking for the first earned goal of game number two. Kato over the top of one got Arju backwards here going to try and fake him out puts it above on the top of the backboard Cash is reaching for it gets faked out by Alpha and Rodosin's not in a place for the follow up so we'll see Vitality. Let that opportunity come and go. Alpha trying to pass it up to Rodosin. Rodosin out of boost. All he can do is put pressure on here. Gets it across. Back to Alpha. Loft sit for Kato, but he had already turned around expecting Alpha to lose the challenge. Cash now. Gonna have to deal with Kato out of the back third. Ooh. Now Rodosin. Oh, he's got Alpha in the midfield. But he gets the ball taken from him. Matane now putting pressure. You see Kato just 180 there, realizing he's now first man. Cash full boost coming up too as well. Looking for a way in. But again, Misfits offense is starting to fall short here on some plays. As Redos in low 50. Last oh. minute. Goal! Oh, cut out before Kato could get there. Wait a second. The transition's moving a little fast. Alpha gets there in time. Oh. Needs a follow-up touch and gets it. Wow, he's so good. Even when his like first challenge off the back wall kind of squirts the ball back out in front of the box. He's able to follow it up and win the, the secondary challenge as well. But also, big props to Arju on the defense on that last drive. Perfectly had his card positioned where he's blocking all the passing lanes. The only option open to Vitality was just to take a shot at the goal, which was an awkward angle. And they were looking for the passes. Not going to happen. Kate up looking for a fake here. Matane to the outside. Alpha now on the wall. Just control. Pinches with Cash all the way to the back third. Kate up quickly turns on this. Punts it the other way. Good control, though. That's from Vitality, the way they've been moving the ball upfield has been very solid. They look comfortable for once. When, you know, coming into the series earlier on, it was Misfits just keeping them in their own half, but it seems like now they can transition. They can think of, hey, let's, how do we create more plays out of this? Meanwhile, Misfits, it seems like they're playing catch up as, again, they are down. They're still looking for that equalizer as we approach the final oh, minute of the game play. Gonna they're going to be down by two. k will slot one in off the demo. They break up the defense here, you see. Redosin there, sent it up, finds the demo on Cash. He pointed out, and Kadop completely open. That makes it a two goal game. Final minute of game three. Vitality looking to get on the scoreboard. Misfits with a win here. We go up to match point, but they got to find two goals to force overtime. Uh, definitely would have to see a different Misfits from what we have seen earlier on in this game. Like we said, haven't been comfortable. And Redosin demo chasing and taking Cash out the play. That's not gonna, that's going to slow things down a lot because they need somebody to be able to create here and they can't even get the ball, let alone in front of the goal line as it gets sent back into their own end for the final 30 seconds. Oh, okay, up off the back wall. Cash up against Rodosin here, goes out to Matane and Rodosin's able to get across the field, block it again. So Arju now out of boost, has to call up Cash and everybody on Misfits oh! trying to run low in the tank, but it doesn't matter. I look over the boost meter for a moment. Matane puts it in the back of the net. One. Two, three, as Cash gets that flip. Matane does not Ooh. leave it up to chance. Great play from Misfits. Everybody gets involved. They're still trying to tie this up with 20 left on the clock. The only earned goal from Misfits is easily the best goal of the game so far. Can they find one more, though? 15 seconds left. Flip reset. Cash takes it to the ground, oh, takes them into the air, oh, puts my. it across two, gets a demolition. Arju, the ball's behind him. Matane's been demolished. Oh, it's into the empty back third. Final seven seconds. Misfits so close, but now with so much work cut out for them. Got to go the full length of the field. Arju's up for it. Got a full tank. Drops it back to his teammate. Cash is there. Puts it up, but it's to the outside on the block. Alpha's in the way. Pass another into the empty field. Oh, got it. And it's oh, they're keeping it alive. Cash on the outside here. One more touch. No, Rodosin back to the midfield, and Arju somehow is there so far back to keep this alive to get a third opportunity at zero seconds off the backboard into the ground. Vitality fake it out and take a game. 
They, they got away with it. I'll say that much. Yeah. Vitality picked that one up. Even when we're dosing all goaling and the last second heroics there for Misfits. Misfits finally figured out what they needed to do to get past Team Vitality, but it was way, way, way too late in the game. Vitality established control and they just played Misfits really well. They, they didn't let them get too much space. Cash was cut off a lot whenever he tried to go up for solo plays. And of course, some of the demos that we saw that Misfits definitely wasn't ready for. Man. As, yeah, that was that was a solid one to, to almost try to end it. If they had that so much earlier in the game wave, we could have just seen a completely different different pace of that. Yeah, no, and, and, and props to Vitality for keeping their wits about them in, in the, those final moments. Easy to panic at that spot. Either we did see like a little bit of panic, which is what created those extra opportunities, but especially like that, that last final fake touch from uh, KDOP on the back wall to you, they have to respect his positioning. He doesn't touch it. The ball falls into dead territory to end the game. Man, Misfits got their hands full with Vitality in that game, but you you pointed it out there. You, know, you, you said that they, they finally figured out how to get past them uh, with the pass game in the midfield. Do we see a continuation of the end of game three here at the beginning of game four? Do Vitality have to find another way to deal with an adapting Misfits? I think so, because even though Vitality has started to find their form, they're playing against a Misfits team that looked stuck, to, so, so to speak. It just felt like Misfits were just, okay, play it into the sidewalk, I and mean, we, we're just not creating anything. It looked like they were frustrated. They finally got something going. It's, oh my God, that's a good 50 from Arju. The team Woo! trying to get in midfield for cash, but defense from Vitality set. I've noticed this a few times. I'm starting to pay more attention to Radosin's boost meter. He gets boost and he uses it almost immediately. This pinch is going to be blocked by Matain. We're fine. I've seen a number of situations though where Radosin's upfield in the shooter spot. He's the person that needs to be passed to and he doesn't have any boost. This one to be different. He had a full tank there for that attack and it looked much more aggressive. I think if Radosin's able to keep his tank a bit more full and be a little bit more stingy on his use in rotations, we might see a very different ooh, vitality ooh, ooh, ooh. Keep your wits about you, Misfits. It was close. You're yeah. you're right though on that. Vitality have been trying to play that fast game to kind of combat Misfits because again, if you see Misfits in those final seconds and you know, when they score at that time goal or almost time goal in, in game three, it, it seemed as if they were in another level of speed, almost as if they're like commanding Vitality to play at their, their level. So definitely worth noting and you got to keep in mind how those boost meters are working these teams play with a lot of momentum on the field and even mentally as this game takes down misfits if they drop this one you got to wonder how will they feel for the rest oh. of the series Rodosin just picked up his first right before he took that shot where he's above the backboard just picked up his first 100 boost pad since the shot where we pointed out his full tank he was completely empty in between there right now misfits doing a good job keeping Vitality pinned. And I was, I was watching Redos and just, you were watching his boost meter go up and down by 12 increments. He was only finding the small pads. Definitely dried out for a little bit, but here on the outside, Arju gonna get this one away. Now Alpha. Trying to set up KDOP, Matane with the interception. Redos and rotating all the way back. I'll pick up the corner. He's there and pops it high. Cash now. Find this. Flips on one, sets up a teammate and Redos it. No! This is technically own goal number two. This one's significantly less flagrant though. Yeah, I mean, this is just Misfits offense forcing a mistake. Simple as that. Cash, great uh -oh. flip reset. RG picks it up. He says, okay, I'm going to put it towards his right side. I see everybody from Vitality there. They think I'm going left. Let's push it towards him, see what happens. Gets away with an own goal. Oh, oh wow. no, okay. but it's only cool. short-lived. Kickoff goal for Alpha 54. Just just cheat up. at th This is the, 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 the full jets ahead. Burn all the boost straight into the net. Hey, how about it? Works out. Tie game right at halftime. Get it right back. <laughs> <laughs> and all that work. <laughs> one team has to flip reset. The <laughs> other one, just go straight. Use all boost. Yeah, just just hold hold B and gas and then jump at the end. Easy one here. Misfits right back to the drawing board looking for that lead. Cash with a flick over one. He's going to follow it up himself. Alpha's already got the ball. And then a demolition on the cash in enemy territory will strengthen the back line of misfits. Matane can just turn and stay aggressive here. Finds one bump, looks for another, but Alpha, an extension at midfield after rotating around. He's going to set up Kadop on the backboard. It's back and loose. Alpha onto the top, off the oh, ceiling, no going underneath. Cash gets the block. He reads that, and then he picks up the boost and gets a demo here as well. Oh. Kadop with space, but actually got a mistouch there, and we'll have to send that one away for now. But could have been a prime chance for some consistent offense for Vitality. Instead, they'll have to play it from their own end again. 
Misfits oh, getting whoa. tangled up here, but finding demolitions on the other side. Matein gonna get blocked by the only remaining player, Kadop. Finds the stop in net. Now Alpha trying to get out. He's in a lot of traffic. So many Misfits players around him on the wall. Still got the ball back to midfield, but it went straight to the third Misfits player. And now back on offense. Misfits trying to push the issue. Cash dumps it into the box and Alpha to the outside for Radosin. He's up on the sky and has boost this time. Keeping it high. <laughs> up against Patane. Oh, Arju. I, I, I respect the pre-jump, Arju. <laughs> you, you gotta at least be close to him. Make some type of contact. Arjun is a wasted boost. He's out to play. Finally gets a 50. He's gonna try to look for some now. As yeah, Can't, that sidewall play really well done for Vitality. A minute remaining. They seem to have some control here, but for how long? Dozen now out of his corner. Full tank dismount. Looking to extend it on the ceiling over the top of one. Can I get the flip reset? Not able to use it. Batane takes it away from him. And now a bump in net. Does he find a second one? Open up the space for Alpha. Matane followed on the wall the whole way and blocked it out. Now setting up cash. 36 seconds left. Rodosin on the wall over one. Arju there to challenge. One by Rodosin. Now Alpha. Not going to beat Matane to the ball and Kate up in the midfield. Puts it high. 24 seconds left. Alpha trying to pass back down to Rodosin. No, puts it into the box, but actually oh. someone's been forward. Misfits completely unprepared for the pass. Vitality has the lead. I think as they were prepared for the shot as well, where Dosnik goes so quickly and they think it's going one way, but he just slots it in the perfect position. A big time goal for Vitality, 20 seconds remaining in this game. They might have just sealed the deal. Yeah, I think that they got tangled up in communication on rotation back. That like one player was coming from one side, one's coming from the other side. They see the ball kind of bounce loosely where if, if one player just turns and grabs it, they'll be able to block the shot at the point of contact, but neither player commits which the zero commit that leads to the double commit. Two seconds left. We've seen Misfits put together a great Boy. zero second drill before. Can they do it again? Nah, this time Vitaly shuts it down instantly and ties up the series two games apiece. Like I said, now you got to start looking at Misfits here because again, that's two back to back games that they that they ended up losing here to Vitality. And you saw Vitality when they went down two, they took a timeout and now we're seeing one from Misfits as well as like, you know, these are some tough losses. They've ended up having to make back to back late game plays and they've been shut down every time. You can see it's, it's fascinating to me to watch the, 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 the difference on the cams from timeout number one to timeout number two here from Misfits. Misfits was laughing, joking, all smiles, having a great time after uh, game two when that overtime when that timeout was claimed by vitality here after game four stone-faced serious focused up listening to the coach saying how do we how do we actually find a way back into this series and, i mean and, and thinking about the the goals that they gave up the the one there on the miscommunication and then a kickoff goal they're not letting a lot through that's a difficult thing to look at to look at a game like that and think we have to play better than that when all you did was make two small mistakes that instantly got punished. Exactly, and that that's the real big thing here, but it, I think it comes down to not letting things get out of control. It's like, you know, pre-planning almost if, if for both teams, right? These are timeouts, but these are so close one goal games where teams have had last second drives that have almost succeeded. And, you know, this matchup, it really goes to show you how serious both of these teams are taking this matchup because, again, this first series that they played was close, but Vitality ended up really just edging out all of the overtime wins. Now you look at this one, Misfits have had a different play style. They've been able to break down Vitality on some of the strides, but now it feels like they are the team that is just not clicking enough to where it's efficient for them. You see so many, uh, when you take a look at the, the, the replays here, I forgot about the own goal. That that one was uh, yeah, definitely a, a forced own goal in this situation. <laughs> but man, and then the pass play. You see, you see how they're both rotating back. I think neither player knew who was supposed to go for it in that moment, and that creates that opening. I mean, in theory, the player coming across right. the goal easily attacks the ball and blocks the shot. But just that moment, though, the perfect timing of them crossing the goal at the same time mm -hmm. the pass is happening leaves an opening. And we've seen those miscommunications happen. This is something that has been the case in games three and in game four, where one, there was an own goal. Two, there was a miscommunication that led to another goal. It just seems like that's kind of the case here, but we almost have a good shot. Wow. A great start for Misfits as Cash puts a shot on the board. It doesn't go in though, Vitality's defense clears it away. Cash got an opportunity like that at the beginning of game four as oh, well. Oh, oh. If you remember the dribble, Kadop off the crossbar denied 
the lead of game five. But Cash on the opening kickoff has been looking pretty strong. Can he find more opportunities like that on kickoff? Arju, over one and now Alpha. Keeping this ball away, Arju puts it into the midfield. k up against Batane, he puts onto the backboard. Rodosin's there, doesn't get the best of clears, but no one's really there. Batane falls like a rocket and not able to put the shot on target. I was rooting for that one. He, he came out of nowhere. Looking at this, both teams again, just trying to find that way out. I, mean, I think for Misfits, you know, you kind of saw it towards the, the really end of all these games where they all go forward and send again a lot of offensive pressure forward. And yep, that's a pause. You can see uh, in the top left corner there, uh, there's no KDOP on that bar. So uh, we, need, we, need, <laughs> we need to have all six players on the pitch. Um, he has he has rejoined. It should be a pretty a pretty quick restart here. We'll get that we'll get that sorted out though. Um, as the players resort, yeah, the, the advantage of team houses here. You have lots of lots of resources available to you if there's any sort of technical issue. Yeah, which is crazy. So I mean, it's good that you know you, you have people who are literally there, and of course you know they got like five, ten extra PCs in there. So for them, uh, it, they it, they can easily just kind of fix things and figure it out. But yeah, you know these things happen. You can see uh, you see Farah in the background there. Recently signed coach for Vitality, one of the legendary players of the scene for many seasons. Uh, and, and probably one of the highest value coaches you could have in this situation. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what adjustments he can bring to the team there. But they'll be remaking the lobby and we'll be getting this game going again in a moment. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I I still haven't seen... We, we've been talking about this a few times. I still have not seen Alpha's like statement on offense. The one goal we've seen from right. him was a kickoff goal, which I feel like anyone on Vitality could have scored. That's true. And I think it also comes down to Misfits defense where they are not allowing Alpha to have that space as well. You know, it's kind of just one of those things where if you're being pressured by a team and they're a very aggressive team like that, I think that it kind of forces you to, hey, let's, we have to change something up here because they're playing against alpha so to speak so for everyone else it's like all right we, knowing that our 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 guy is being focused let's try to switch it around maybe just have him create the space on offense and then everybody else can get involved in their their own way it's a little bit different from vitality but this is also what kind of comes with one the change and two all of these other teams trying to get better they're looking for a way to make sure uh vitality are as comfortable as possible so they can't continue <laughs> to just like dominate over them because if you live if you give alpha 54 and Redoston time and space in the air yeah they're gonna make those goals happen unfortunately misfit says no nah, we, we don't want any of that I, I also I wonder like how I would love to hear from Rodosin and his thoughts on his spot in the team and how he feels like he's fitting in. And at what point do you still feel like you're on you're on trial? You are in like you're, obviously you're you're fully signed to the team, but do you feel like the, the the fans are still vetting you to some degree? They're still deciding whether they like that you are a part of this roster or not. And early perform early strong performances, I think, can make all the difference in making you feel like you belong on this roster. These these first matches, these first few events uh, with the team, I think, going to be really important for him here. Yeah, the, definitely so. Uh, you know, I think I think that criticism kind of extends all, throughout your entire career. There's always going to be somebody mm. vetting you because because maybe you were the player that got picked up, and maybe they wanted another player, so to speak, or maybe they just don't know you specifically that well. All of these things, you know, you have to take into account. And there's always going to be that pressure to forward dosing, which you can kind of see a little bit based on how his cams have looked over the course of the series. We've seen the old goals, and although they're kind of funny. For, he's taking them very seriously and he's, you know, frustrated, just as frustrated as kind of Cash is or Misfits whenever Cash makes a mistake or they end up losing a game, how he's got his hands on his head, you know, that that emotional level of play into it because these guys just, you know, they all want to be the best, which is, you know, it's so admirable to see their passion behind it. Yeah, it, it, it is such a an incredibly difficult job to maintain the same level of consistency at all times, knowing that at any moment uh, and any solid dip in that, especially at an important moment, could mean the end of things here. Also, I love that when the uh, referee asks the players if they're ready to start the match, uh, the everybody quick chats, no problem. <laughs> that's, that's how they say yes. Here is we're back into the game. 
It looks like everything's been uh, rectified here. We'll see this handle as well. Oh my goodness, Alpha and Kadop on top of each other here, but they will get the ball out of goal. And now Radostin looking to advance. Yeah, we end up starting this game at four minutes, two seconds, because that is when Kadop disconnected. So we're just resuming right where we left off. Yep. But oh, oh, lots of speed. Oh. Double commit, though, for Vitality. Radostin and Kadop tried to go for that ball. It'll end up going to midfield as it's cut off quickly for Vitality. Now, Vitaly is lucky that it took Matane as long as it did to gain control of that ball. He had such a good opportunity for a counterattack, but nobody going to score just yet. So we see Cash here against Kadop. Neutral challenge. Radosin from the midfield skyrockets. Matane now falling back over his shoulder, actually going to leave the ball for Arju. Maybe his positioning stalls out Vitaly there for a moment. And now they've got an opportunity on offense. Cash with us trying to get the tiny pass back in. We saw a crazy pinch patch from Cash earlier today. Let me pull off some more magic like that to get an early lead in game five. This one's been always Misfits favored. Most of the games in the early minutes are Misfits favored off the start. They get a quick shot chance on, but seeing redirects and counterattacks come out for Vitality as get this game progresses. Whoever wins this one puts a series on match point, and we're already halfway through. <laughs> yeah, a, this is a very critical game. As game six could be the last one, one of the teams will have the opportunity to end it there, and it'll all come down to who scores here. Matane onto the back wall, two players up in a uh, strange commitment. I think of Rados in there trying to like chase the, the shooter through the sky with no hope of touching the ball there. Falls back, no one gonna punish anything just yet. Here's catch over one. Alpha and Rodos into the back. Rodos is going to miss off the back wall, but regrounds himself. Out of boost. He can use the small pads to refill. His misfits going for this, I don't know, long range artillery style offense of just drive all the way in, let the ball come all the way back to your third, and then drive all the way back down again. Yeah, just again, given the, given the space, I think they want to regroup and try to push with as much boost as possible, as well as try to look for some people downfield to maybe pass to. Vitality have just been in the way, so to speak, literally cutting off a lot of pass outs and making plays like this. You're Ooh. starting to see Alpha create there. It was a good flip reset shot, forcing Cash to get his third save. They force a double commit as well. More opportunities here if they can keep that insecurity, that lack of communication going on in Misfits here. If they're able to maintain an environment that makes those things difficult for them, Vitality's going to more opportunities, but no, I think a demolition happens here. Maybe a commit, too much of a commitment in the midfield. Cash going to score the first goal. Yeah, this is, like you said, that double commit. I don't think oh. they were expecting Matane to get necessarily a dunk like that. Yeah. Kadop, too far forward, got caught out from Cash, and that gets slotted in. And that may be the way this game and this series has gone. It could be the one that puts Misfits on match point the way things have been looking. It's been a generally low scoring series. Every goal mattering that much more. Here, Matane onto the back wall. He's got Arju committing to it as well, but Alpha on the post gains control. Now looking for the bump. See Cash able to dodge that. Stay on the ground. Falls all the way back. Doesn't make contact off the wall, though. Makes the <laughs> save on the other side. He knew where he was needed most. Makes the stop. They maintain the lead. That's a hero save. And they can't let Vitality continue to get those drives. Otherwise, we could see this one all tied up. We Woo! haven't seen Vitality in a late game press. What does that look like? We're finding right now. Here's Alpha over the top of one. Now Kate out to the outside to Redosin onto the backboard. Ooh. Empty backboard here. Redosin's up for it. He's going to get a triple tap out of it. Not going to make the third touch. Alpha's not there either. Couldn't get it through Arju. Arju now falling down the field, but losing control to Kate up in the third. Kate up out of boost, looking for the drive upwards, but Cash takes it away from him. Alpha now stalling in the midfield. Final 10 seconds. Misfits holding on to the lead. Happy just to keep the ball in enemy territory. The punts will work. Popping it to the backboard over and over again. Clock is expired. Here comes Alpha, but Cash is up for it. Fakes oh, oh, oh. them out. Matane puts it into the ground. Misfits are on match point. So close, crazy late game drives, but Misfits hold on, and they're one game away from taking out the team that sent them to the lower bracket. My goodness, the way this has been, it's been a tight match, it's been back and forth. Teams have been trading possession, trading blows, but what it comes down to for this game is a simple mistake. K-Dop, veteran level player, but was not 
expecting that 50 to go their way. Cash went all in and oh. it paid out big time for Misfits. And that save too. I mean, I, he did, the, the the need for the diving save was created by the fact that he didn't commit after the ball, but I'm glad he didn't because it was way more cool to watch that. And I mean, if, if, if vengeance is a dish best served cold, Cash is the player that's got the ice in his veins right now. He is leading this Misfits roster. He is the player for me to watch right now I think if I go into game six, the matchup I'm watching, Daz, is Cash versus Radosin. When when Cash is popping off, Misfits looks amazing. When Radosin's leaving some openings right now, if Radosin is able to step up to the plate here, I think Vitality forces game seven. Vitality got a lot of eyes on him and a huge spotlight, especially after picking up Radosin. Misfits trying to force their way back into the spotlight, and they could do so potentially with this win as they continue to move forward in the Dacia Spring Cup. But right now, Vitality pushing Whoa. up a lot of pressure offensively. It's a great touch and even a solid redirect from Cash wow. in midfield. I, I, I love I love the ambition of it too. Like let's just let's just put it on target. Let's just see what they do with it. Like it's, what's the worst that happens? So those who puts it through one. K now onto the backboard. Cash is up for it. Manages to make contact and pinch it off the back wall to the corner and take it away from Alpha. Look to pass for Radosin, but loses the player. Now Kadop with both of his teammates in close tow behind them, all three Vitality players bunched up here together. He gets a small pass to Radosin. The small ball play now looking for the bump on the goalie. Not gonna happen. And Alpha yet to just touch the ball on the play. That pinch on the wall will eliminate him for another round here. He's set up in goal finally. Comes out, Radosin with a touch on one. Cash puts onto the backboard. Kadop's leaping for this one. He'll block the touch for the moment. My goodness, Vitality. Feeling the pressure from Misfits. Here's Matane again. Arju looking for the goalies Ooh. here. Alpha Follow diving up. back. Sets it up for Cash. Oh. Though, and he's locked it up for 90. Goal number one. They turn it on. It's like a flip of a switch. As soon as Matane has space, Arju says, hey, Rodosin. Alpha has to try to make a touch, but he's not stopping Cash. Top right slot because he gives Misfits the lead. 344 left to go. Misfits just have to hold on. One goal has been good enough to win it in this series every game, just a one goal lead. And in two of the games, including game number one with a two plus minute overtime, it's been just literally one goal scored. Patane out of the corner. Kate out following, picks up the boost. Archer on the back wall. Redosin's not going to be bumpable here, but there's no one else in goal either. Goes all up to Redosin on that drive. This pinch going to go over the top of players, but Matane and Arju so far back in their own half. Will be able to gain control. Arju challenging. Pinches into the goal. This is a dangerous one, and it's able to be capitalized on. Alpha follows through and ties the game. There they go. Vitality starting to create. Arju's in a tough spot. Ragosin will pick it up, giving no time for the Misfits defense. Alpha will score it. We're back tied up in game six. What a pinch. I honestly don't think that needed Alpha to go in. I don't think the defender was going to get that one out. What a play. Vitality, find a way. Three minutes left. Here's Arju. Alpha blocks it, puts it back to the back third. Get up with another one win. And then a demolition. Rodostin versus Matane. Matane's going to win this one, finally get the ball across midfield, but Alpha capitalizing on a bit of space. Kadop trying to get the ball out. And Alpha across the goal. Here's Rodostin up for it. Lofted. Kadop's only got 43 boost, didn't feel comfortable launching. And a double commit though, creating an opening. Yeah. Alpha puts it back to the box. Matane alone with the ball just buys time for his teammates to get back around. And Cash in the corner will find some control. Let's look at Vitality. Look at how this offense is. They're pressuring out Misfits. They're getting demos. They're making Misfits look very uncomfortable. They're trying to get inside their heads as well, shake them up so they can get a play. Alpha again, you said it yourself, Wade. We haven't seen him make statements so far this series. I feel like he's trying to make those statements now, the way he's been moving up field in offense. Matane looks for an opportunity. Just barely misses the ball. Now Radosin back down the field. Cash lofts it high. Chases it himself over the top of Kadop. Kadop will get a touch off the wall. And Arju just has to sit and watch the, his players fall down. Doesn't know how to read until the players get out of the space. Ultimately not going to make a play. Alpha off the back wall. Up against Cash. Pinched in front of the box. Kadop's there with space. Cranks up and fires. Blocked by Arju. Matt Radosin out of the corner. Cash putting in high, Alpha to chase this one, back into the box. Oh, good touch. So oh. tense here on the Misfits defense as they have to really think about where they're placing the ball before they clear it out. 
Again, Alpha and Red Dostin in the air, especially in that midfield, have been so effective for Vitality. Kadoff in a tough spot, has to make a save. And Arju won't take another shot. Instead, we'll try to follow this up, going all for, for it all for himself. But Vitality regroup on defense. They're a little low on boost as Red Dostin's in net with 12, but they're able to get these 50s out and run down the clock. Wow. Alpha can't lose a 50, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> Across midfield. Redosa with Kadop here. Trying to force game seven. Alpha. The miss on the back wall. You know Misfits would love to not play on Champions Field. Find a way just to end it right now. Do not go to that most clutch of maps. Put all the marbles on the line. Here's Kadop on the back wall, or on the side wall. Arju puts it into the box. Now Arju with another loft, Batane's up, but Kadop's already there, past him, it's up to Cash on the back line. Kadop with a miss on the wall will give Cash an opening, and he's putting pressure on all the Vitality players piled up here on the side. Through two, Cash creating traffic, the Redosa doesn't know how to drive through, he puts it to the outside, they're looking for the bump on Kadop, not gonna find it, 14 seconds left. Kadop on the outside again. We had an overtime in game one, do we have another one here in game six? Redosa down the length of the field, but Batane's so far back. The Misfits wide positioning pays off Time and time again, we'll go to overtime. A goal for Misfits wins the series. Wins the series, they get revenge on Vitality and send them out the bracket. Meanwhile, Vitality trying to prove that this move was the right choice. Still need to force game seven as they have been sending everything forward. Both teams giving it their all on Neo Tokyo, but only one can come away. Oh, the drop down catch is there, not able to get it through the one defender, the 2v1. Rudison does an excellent job blocking it. Now Arju onto the back wall. Rudison taking control. Arju misses. Batane to the corner now. Alpha's in a really awkward spot here and yet still manages to read it. Keep it away for now. Kadop backwards. Arju in the corner with Matane upfield, waiting for the opportunity. The clear comes through for Vitality and Matane's got a response. Kadop's there now. Upfield cash with a response. They're just punting it back and forth. They are. Misfits have been doing a great job offensively to stay on the line, but that's what? close. Follow from Redosin. Ah! It's in. Top right for Redosin to send us to game seven. Alpha with the setup on these challenges. The defense is there enough to block Alpha, but they can't deal with them both. Redosin steps up when his team needs him. And in the cash versus Redosin battle, this one. Vitality going to take. We'll move into game seven. Winner stays alive. It comes down to this. Misfits with so much pressure on the offensive front. And even with that, Vitality weathered the storm. They played the solid defense. They didn't kind of, they didn't put themselves in any uncomfortable spots. They waited until they had the right opportunity where Misfits looked weakest and they chose that moment to strike. As Alfred Redosa, I mean, this was all of them that game. Look how similar these two goals were. The, the, the upper, the corner challenge, aerial corner challenge as high in the box as you can get. And the pinch basically goes straight at the goal both times. Such a difficult thing to do. Both times Vitality, one time it was Alpha, one time it was Redosin, had a player to follow up there. Those two players tag teamed to get Vitality into this game seven. What a moment. Going on a champion's field, this one's going to be wild. It is. It, it really is. And for me, it's like, okay... Who's got the ice here? You talked about it earlier. Does, does Cash really have that ice? We're going to have to see it here for Vitality. Who's going to be the person to step up big here? I mean, there's so much to prove, which is going to make this one really exciting to get into. Oh, this, and, and you know the, the, the maximum pressure's on for Misfits here. They've, they've, be, they've, they've faced off against Vitality before, lost. They got match point first. They got a two-game lead. They were so close to taking it away there, an overtime in game six, and now they've got to play one more game of Rocket League. And we've seen this time and time again before, Daz, where like games one through six are as close as can be, and game seven is an absolute blowout. That would be, the, if Misfits can do that, that's amazing. If not, it's a problem. Game seven presented by Dachi is coming up. This is going to be wild. It really is. Where, again, the closest series comes to a height to see. Who comes out on top? Cash strikes early as he has been for Misfits this series. Oh. So we're on pace, but Vitality have been deadly when they're on the press. Which team has that much control that when oh. you, know, you have that game seven, you're on champion's field. 
sometimes teams can break down. We've seen Radosan already own goal twice this series. Do we see yeah. another? <laughs> uh, the, the ultimate pressure. Champions Field does things to people, man. Argy on the outside. Is k going to leave this one? Radosan calls him off, sends it the entire length of the field. Matane, who seems to be settling into a third man a spot very often. We were seeing him, the player who's back, but no, the rest of the team not able to put it up. Cash and Arju fall prey to Kadop. Vitality strikes first. And it's Kadop with the first goal. Oh. Alpha disrupting. And if there's anyone who can place it right, it's going to be Kadop for Vitality. He sets the tone. 414 left on the clock, and Vitality has everything they need. Misfits. Prowling on the outside, looking for the equalizer. Here's Arju on the back wall, not going to find the follow-up. He's got Ar Radosan into the air, and he's got a bump on Alpha. Batane puts it into the sky. Alpha disconnects from that contact, does not try to push the issue. And he finds the block afterwards. Now Kadop, over one, Radosan keeps this ball glued to the ceiling. Batane has to fly so high, burn so much boost to find a block, and he's going to find... He's gonna find one, then gets demolished. His teammates, they'll find the rest of the follow-up here. Cash falling down oh, to the sky, finds no! the demolition, but no! I think there's a chance he blocks it in the smoke screen. Arju completely misses the ball through the smoke screen. Oh. Even though the demo comes out and it's an open net, Arju doesn't make contact. Could have been an equalizer there for Misfits, but Vitality will keep the one goal lead as they weather the storm for now. Another minute coming on. Misfits pushing as hard as they can. Cash over one. Alpha, the pass into Radosan. Back to Alpha, no. Intercepted by Matane and now pressing the issue. Looking for the back of the third man. Gets demolished on the drive, but the rest of the team's there. Long clear from Kadop, though. We will see him on the respawn. Make the touch and then look at the pass play into the corner. Oh, it's off the post. It was a beautiful setup. Looking for that immediate counterattack, but just barely wide. Arju wants that play back. And they're trying to feed Arju the ball there a little bit. Cash playing third man on this play. And oh, oh my, if you, you want him as your third man, if he's putting on shots like that, he's forcing Alpha to get a save out. And things have been a little dicey for Team Vitality rotation-wise, but they still maintain the one goalie. We're halfway through game seven, and it's been kind of wild in terms of where these teams have been moving up field. I've seen Vitality get clumped up. I've seen Misfits try to force errors, but Radosan gets that save out, and they're holding on for now. Ooh, that pinch goes so far. Radosan pushing up against Matain, and then putting pressure on the goalie. Vitality is trying to create openings here. They are constantly being so annoying. The way that they're able to get just a little touch here, just enough in your zone to make you react, and it's breaking up Misfits' attempts. It's keeping the ball in the orange half for now. But we've seen how quick the counterattack evolves for Misfit. If they can put another one like we saw a moment ago, but on target, we have a tie series. Oh my gosh, dodging the demolition and making the stop here. Cash trying to will his team into the win. Every time save for cash, but Vitality have been knocking at the door. They're looking for an extra goal here. And if Alpha continues to create and break down defense like we've seen, then that can lead to some problems. This time it's Kadop breaking down the defense oh. with Dosen for a shot. Goal oh. line 50 works out for Misfits. Oh, through two. Matane trying to connect with a cash, a double commit in the corner here. Confusion as to who should take it, but that slows everybody down. Alpha now up against cash. Lose does the challenge. Cash finally taking one off of Alpha. Radosan gonna get it past another player. Matane to the outside. Arju's up. And then back down. Back in front of the box here. <laughs> Matane now. A lot of space, a lot of boost. Over the top of Radosan onto the backboard. Looking for the pinch. Oh, it's a it's double. Two commit. players to commit. Alpha with the stop. Oh my goodness, Alpha keeps it alive. This is so close for Misfits. Every time they have someone on the goal line, it seems it's like, okay, this is going to be the play for them. But when it comes down to taking that final shot, there's always something. And whether it's someone just completely missing or a double commit like we saw there. They got to get the comms together here because you can tell how wild things have been for them. As Arju tries to get a piece of this ball, but it will only fall in the corner. 30 seconds left. Vitality have still maintained a one goal lead. The one goal has been enough so many times. Will it be? The defining score here in game seven. Matane to the outside. Radosan, 20 seconds left. The length of the field. Cash looking for Matane. Does he find the pass back down? He's got plenty of boost to work with here. Matane's going to keep it himself over the top of one. Up against Kadop, who punches it to the outside. Final 10. Arju up, bumped. but he's too high. Bumped high. Alpha on the outside. Final three. The clock expiring. Misfits 
They've got to find control. Not even going to get a chance at zero seconds. Vitality, save off the upset and get another win on Misfits.